Thank you. Hello to all of you. I'm Alexis de Soif, lawyer at the Brussels Bar and vice president of the FIDH, the International Federation for Human Rights. The FIDH, it's 188 human rights organizations around the world. And we came to London today and tomorrow to support Julian Assange. Why? Because the case of Julian Assange is a human rights case. It's about our civil liberties, about our fundamental freedoms. It's of course press freedom, but more generally, freedom of expression. And without freedom of expression, we have no democracy anymore. And that's why we are all here to today in front of the Royal Court of Justice to support Julian Assange. All the journalists in the world, and a lot of them are here today, but a lot are absent. I do really don't understand why they're not supporting more their colleague, Julian Assange. This morning, I had a live interview on the radio, and the third question of the journalist, it was a Belgian journalist, was, yes, but Julian Assange has put the life of Americans in danger, and Julian Assange, blah, 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 blah. And I answered them, why this question comes from you? Because that is what the United States are defending in court. Why are you, as journalists, repeating the arguments of the CIA? That should not be your job. Yeah. And so, we must all be aware that our presence here, it's for the human rights, it's for the civil liberties, it's for, for the freedom of expression, and that you cannot be prosecuted by exposing state crimes, crimes against humanity, war crimes committed by states like the United States and be prosecuted for that. The question is, if Julian Assange is extradited to the United States, who will dare to be a whistleblower? Because either you're prosecuted, either the journalist who you give the information to will be prosecuted and even if he's in another country, he risks to be extradited to a foreign country and faces lifelong prison sentence, 175 years or even more. And so it's our democracy that's in danger. We have to protect the investigation journalism. We have to protect the whistleblowers for our democracy, for human rights, for our fundamental freedoms. Thank you very much.